But if I were you, I wouldn't just understand them. I would get so good at them that solving a simple binary search or a sliding window problem feels as easy as writing a for loop. Have you guys gotten to the point where you can implement some of the more like trivial algorithms that quickly because once you do it kind of opens up your mind to like a level of like enlightenment when you're first learning how to code writing out for loops and things like that takes like cognitive energy it's not second nature like writing out variable names especially when you're learning a new language for the first time it it's like there's friction in just like getting your thoughts into code but when you get to the next level, like you can write out binary search or a basic sliding window or even a depth first search algorithm very, very quickly. That takes zero effort. And that's when you can kind of start focusing on the more complicated stuff. You can focus on like, how are you branching your recursion? How are you creating the branch? How, like what is the condition for shrinking the sliding window and increasing the sliding window and things like that? And people skip a step. People don't get good at the basics. They just try to go to the harder stuff like why not just solve a really really simple binary search or sliding window problem five times why not do it because it's not going to take you very long if you solve it the first time in 15 20 minutes solve it again the next day it'll probably take you 10 minutes solve it again the next day it'll probably take you like five minutes and you'll get so good you'll be able to solve it in like two minutes and you're probably thinking well i don't want to memorize the solution i don't want to be that type of person where i just memorize it there's an element of memorization in every type of learning but of course you should be able to understand every single line of code that's written here in this binary search and it's not hard to do yeah it's it's not about like memorizing it like your brain works like that like your brain will like your brain memorizes the location of like the keys on your keyboard that's why you're able to type it out quickly you don't really have to think about where's like the a key and that's kind of what you want to get to when you're solving basic leak code problems and when you can do that then that's when you get to like the next layer of enlightenment when it comes to leak code. That's when you don't even think about the code anymore. You're just focusing on the problem. Once you know how to solve a problem, the code just writes itself. And that's what you want to get to. Like you should be able to tell me what would go wrong if I removed any of these lines of code without. Can you guys tell me what's going to go wrong if we don't check if the row or column is out of bounds? Yeah, out of bounds error, right? That's the type of thing that I do when I was interviewing people. You can write out the code. Cool. You write B you can write a DFS algorithm. Good for you. But if you can't tell me what's going to go wrong, if I took these two lines of code out, then you really don't understand it. And I think that's fair. It's not like I'm picking on people. If I'm asking you, if you remove these two lines of code, wh why would the code no longer work? Because you're going to go out of bounds. It's pretty simple, isn't it? And that's what a lot of people miss. A lot of people are out here memorizing code and they can't even answer basic questions like that.